ஆச்சரி சிக்ஸ் பிளேயர்ஸ் டான்சி உமேசா வாங்குடு சைலா யானிதா அண்ட் ஜெனகா டியூபி டபிள்யூ டியூடபிள்யூ எக்ஸ் ஒய் செட் நோ வி ஓகே டியூடபிள்யூ எக்ஸ் ஒய் செட் கம்பேர்ட் இன் ஆர்ச்சரி டோர்னமெண்ட் த டோர்னமெண்ட் ஹட் த்ரீ கம்பல்சரி ரவுண்ட்ஸ் ரவுண்ட்ஸ் ஒன் டூ த்ரீ ஓகே குட் இன் ஈச் ரவுண்ட் பிளேயர் ஷார்ட் அண்ட் ஆரோ அட் டார்கெட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டபிளி ஹிட்டிங் த சென்டர் ஆஃப் த டார்கெட் கால் புல் சாய் ஃபெஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் பாயிண்ட்ஸ் ஸ்கோர் ஆஃப் ஹையர் ஸ்கோர் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் த ஒன்லி அதர் பாசிபிள் ஸ்கோர்ஸ் அ பிளேயர் குட் அச்சீவ் வெர் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் ஸோ ஃபைவ் ஃபோர் த்ரீ டூ ஒன் அதர் ஸ்கோர்ஸ் தே குட் அச்சீவ் ஃபைவ் இஸ் கால் புல் சாய் Every bullseye score in the first three rounds gave a player one additional chance to shoot in the bonus rounds, 4 to 6. The possible scores in rounds 4 to 6 were identical to the first three. So if you get three bullseyes, you get three more shots. If you get no bullseye, you have only three rounds to play. So far, so good. A player's total score in the tournament was a sum of his or her scores in all rounds played by him or her. Wonderful. Add everything up. The table below presents partial information on points scored by the players after completion of the tournament. In the table, NP means that the player did not participate in that round, while a hyphen means that the player participated and the score information is missing. One of them. Now we'll have to really look at the table before we build further. So everybody played the first three. Tanzi played four, four rounds, not five and six. And she, so she scored one bullseye in the first three rounds. Umeza has scored two bullseyes in the first three rounds because she played two. Wangdu has no bullseye. So this is less than five. This is less than five. Zyla had this also. She's had three bullseyes. Wonderful. So five, five, five. Yonita had one bullseye. Zeneca had two bullseyes. Two fives and something else. Tanzi, Umeza and Yonita had the same total score. Good. Probably not a good starting point. Good. total scores for all players except one were in multiples of 3 they were all in multiples of 3 the highest score was one more than double that of the lowest score if lowest score is n highest score is 2n plus 1 the first take away is that it is an odd number 2 into n plus 1 the highest score is an odd number the number of players hitting bullseye in round 2 was double of that in round 3 the number of bullseyes here is 2 into number of bull size here Tanzi and Zeneca had the same score in round 1 but different scores in round 3 so this were x this were x or z and z y and y different ones here and i think the the, the i don't know all five constraints they don't give us anything i would have loved it if said yonita had scored four points in round 2 would have been useful T, U and Y had the same score. That's helpful. And so, you, had, you played 5 rounds, while T and Y played only 4 rounds, which has had a pretty modest round 4 and round 5. So, I can understand the overall scores being, the sums being the same. Right? Highest score is likely to be Zyla. He's already got 21. He got 21 plus something. And whatever is here. 1 2 3 4 or 5 so 22 to 26 one of those is the highest score right? if it were not zyla tanzi could not have got no even to 20 tanzi and umeza and yonita are the same wangdu has not got any bullseye you can get a 12 maybe zeneca is possible can zeneca be higher than zyla because zeneca has four fives 20 she could end up with 23 and zyla could end up with 22 so zeneca could be the highest so x or z could be the highest what could be the highest score the not number it could be 23 25 it cannot be 27 it's 23 or 25 brilliant we've got something to work with let's start with that highest score is 23 or 25 now the lowest score where n higher score be 2n plus 1 this is 23 This is 11. If this is 25, this is 12. We can sense that the lowest score should be Wangdu, not, not anyone else. Because if uh, the, these three are equal, they are likely to be more than 12. Right? And, and Zeneca has got 4 or 5. Right? But is it 11 or 12? Remember, the, the highest score, total scores for all players except one were in multiples of 3 23 and 25 are both not multiples of 3 so the highest score is not a multiple of 
that much we know for sure so every other score should be a multiple of 3 that means cannot be 11 or the highest is 25 which is zyla this should be 25 that means this is 4 zeneca has got 4 fives has got 20 definitely should be 21 or 24 that's her total right brilliant we've got the total score for zyla you know we need to find the other constraints we've accommodated uh, this in some form we still use it i think higher score this we have accounted for Tanzi and Zeneca had the same score in round 1 but different scores in round 3. We'll have to worry about this. We'll worry about this a little later on. Then 25 is the highest. So far so good. Fine. Total scores for all players except one were in multiples of 3. The, the one of them scored 12. That means that much we know. Now 5 plus 4 is 9. Tanzi has got at least one more 5. Because there's got to be a five here. I'll go to fourteen. So it's more than fourteen. So the one who scored the lowest is Wang Du. So Wang Du's total should be twelve. Tanji has got fourteen plus something. Johnita has got five plus three, eight plus five, thirteen plus something. This is fourteen plus something. This is thirteen plus something. Right? But we got we need them to be multiples of. So Johnita would be thirteen plus one score. Tanzi would be fourteen plus one score. Umeza would have two fives, five plus five ten, ten plus one eleven plus two thirteen plus one score. All three of them should be equal and should be a multiple of three. It cannot be eighteen because that missing score cannot be five or the total is fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. That's the total. Wonderful. So far, so good. So these two should be four. That one was easy because the total should add up to twelve. Fine. Now the missing scores for Tanzi are five and one. For Umeza are five, five, five plus five, ten, eleven, thirteen, two. Yonita would be five plus three, eight plus five, thirteen plus two, fourteen. Wonderful. Zeneca, there is two five sitting there, and the last one is either one or four, because the total should be twenty-one or twenty-four. So far, so good. Now let's think about this. The number of players hitting bullseye in round two was double that in round three. In round two, was double that in round three. So this is one, and this could be two, or this is two, and this could be four. It cannot be three and six because six, all six don't score bullseye in round two. That much we know. One and two, two and four. Now, one and two looks a little off. That's too few bull size. Because there are two bull size that come from come for Zeneca and Umeza. Zayla has already got bull size in all three. So if there are, if this is one, this is two, then there's no bull size from any of the others. These two have to be bull size. These two have to be bull size. This has to be a bull size. All other bull size have to come in round two and round three. Around two and round one, nothing in round three because it's already been one bullseye. Let's check out that possibility. It looks like it is not likely. Right? So let's think about this. Suppose there is only one bullseye here. In, then in that scenario, this would be a bullseye. This would be a bullseye. Right? This has to be a bullseye. This will be one. These two are bullseyes. Right? So there will be one, two, three bullseyes. That's not possible because there should be only be two bull size in round two. So this one and two, that possibility is ruled out. Or round three should have two bull size. Round two should have four bull size. That always seems more likely. We have eliminated the other possibility. So two in round three and four in round two. Four bull size in round two. There are two non bull size. That means the other four. Need to be bull size. Five, 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 five. Now we can fill in Yonita's score completely. Five, five, three. Ten plus three, thirteen. This is two. Right. There's only one more bull size here. Tanzi and Zeneca had the same score in round one, but different scores in round three. So, if this were five, had the same score in round one, but different scores in round three. If this were five. This will not be fine. This will be different. Whereas these two should be equal. 
fine. So, if this were phi, this should be one. I mean, this should be one. Then this cannot be. This has to be phi. That condition will be violated. If round three for tan z were phi, then round one would have to be one. Then Zeneca's round one would have to be one. Then this has to be phi. And so, that is not possible. That means tan z did not score a phi. Here, tan z scored a phi in round one. Zeneca and tan z had the same score in round one. This is phi. So this is one, and we should be nearly through. And so, phi plus phi ten plus phi fifteen twenty. This should be one or four. These two are different, so this should be four. Brilliant. So these two are different, so this should be four. So this adds up to twenty-four. We've got everything but Umeza's score in round one and round three. Now in round three, in round two there are four fives. In round three there's only one five. There should be one more five, which should be this. This is five. Five plus five ten plus one eleven plus three thirteen. Two more fifteen. With that we complete the entire grid. Fine. Four bullseyes in round two. Two bullseyes in round three. Three in round one. Zayla with the maximum at twenty-five. Zeneca with a multiple of three twenty-four. These two not equal to each other. These two equal to each other. All but Zayla being multiples of three. Twelve into two plus one being twenty-five. All the conditions appear to be satisfied. Now we should just jump onto the questions and just get them right. What are the highest score? Twenty-five. Zayla. One of the first inferences we made. What was Zeneca's total score? Twenty-four. Basically, it could have been twenty-one or twenty-four. Twenty-four fits properly. Which of the following statements is true? Zeneca's score was twenty-three. No, it was twenty-four. Zeneca was the highest scorer. No, it was Zayla. Zayla was the highest scorer. True. Twenty-three. No, it was twenty-five. What was Tanzi's score in round three? Round three, Tanzi one. Done. Once you've got the grid, completing it is very easy. But it's a tough set. Got too many constraints. You have to get the twenty-five and twelve going first. Then these three being equal next. Then take that. This has two x as many bull size as this. Then get where the bull sizes are sitting in round two and round three. Then make the inferences beyond that. Tough, tough, tough set.